Mozzie. Let me see your warrant. <laughs> Who the hell is Mozzie? Who the hell is Mozzie? Indeed. Ah, that is the question, isn't it? There's so many things we don't know about him. He's real. I'm not making him up. I liken him to Kramer sometimes on Seinfeld. A version of me. Maybe someday we'll find out his first or last name. Another piece of the puzzle. That's the big mystery, isn't it? Who is Moz? Who the hell knows? Figuratively and literally. He's a beatnik, he's a philosopher, he's a con artist, he's a social engineer. You've learned much, Grasshopper. Probably Mozzie's greatest skill is knowing where the wine is hidden. I do all right. Truth is the first chapter in the Book of Wisdom, and this Malbec is a little dry. He's one of those guys that sort of hangs out in Washington Square Park. He's playing chess at one in the afternoon, and you just look at those guys and go, what do they do? I'm a free man. I can do whatever I want. Mozzie is a under-the-radar criminal operative. I know things that everyone else around me doesn't know, and I know how to get their wallet, their social security number, their bank accounts, <laughs> and they don't know that I know it. And that's what makes Mozzie live. I'm friends with many people of unsavory character. It's been a revelatory season for the character of Mozzie. We've gotten to know more about him. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Now Mozzie is more involved with the FBI, which is something he never would have imagined. He wants me to go to the Bureau? Yeah, Moz, if you want the FBI's help, you gotta go to the Bureau. He finds out that as much as he has been afraid of the man his whole life, they're really not that horrible. We love the way he annoys us. I'm not comfortable with this. We know. We also get to see one of Mozzie's safe houses. Where are we going? Somewhere no suit has ever gone, nor shall ever go again. He calls it Tuesday, mainly because he's there on Wednesdays. Mi casa is suit casa. <laughs> we find that he has many different places that he hides things. Everything all right back there? Your money, sir. We should go. We definitely see him in a romantic light. Good morning, Gina. Good morning, Mozzie in the episode where his girlfriend was kidnapped. Is he stalking her? I'd have to look up the legal definition. Sadly, at the end of that episode, she leaves, so Mozzie's on the prowl again. You're cute, too. But I hear there's more coming for Mozzie, because I'm so sexy. We're fascinating creatures. We live a life of danger. It's exciting, slightly erotic. Someone stop that guy! We also have a flashback episode in season two. Where's your partner? I left him. Why? I need an upgrade. Apparently, Mozzie used to have hair. He had a goatee. Huh? Only to distract from his toupee. Cool. Willie gets to wear some amazing toupees. <laughs> I mean, some of the... Wow. Yeah, I don't get him out. Camera and action! This better work. Relax. Look, I'm holding five fake Rolexes. You know, Willie's a fantastic actor. He's television and New York royalty. He's really his own force of nature. He always brings a vibrance and an energy and a joy to the set. <laughs> He's such a great energy to have when you're in scene because it just goes really seamlessly and we have a lot of fun together. It's nice to see you, Mrs. Suit. Nice to see you too, Moss. Willie and I had a great time in those park scenes at the beginning of the season. I saw a mockingbird in the park. Then you say what color is the Mockingbird. I'm doing the newspaper thing. I'm not doing the stupid bird thing. It's fun to be with him when he's playing Mozzie. This is a problem. No. <laughs> OK. Uh, um, so what's it like anymore. shooting on the streets of New York? <laughs> Our whole lives are about trying to make each other burst out laughing when we're not supposed to. Break it down. Oh, Break it down. All right. Relax. <laughs> Willie's impossible not to love. I think that registers in his character. Just like the character he plays, he's a real character. I've showed you mine, you show me yours. Don't ever say that again. Understood. When we were auditioning actors, one guy, halfway through the audition, he just stopped and said, you know what, Willie Garson is sitting in that room. I know you're gonna hire him. This isn't even worth it and walked out. And uh, you know, he was right. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Serpico. This role was a real gift to me. There comes a point in an actor's career, if you've been fortunate, as I have, where you do have to start playing kind of more versions of yourself, because the audience knows who you are. So playing Mozzie has been really gratifying in that it's the closest to myself that I've ever played. Mozzie really embraces life and enjoys 
what he gets to do every day. And that's a wonderful thing for me to get to go and do at work every day. If you'll excuse me, I have somewhere important to be. 